All right, the next thing on our list is trying to flush this with a factory tune. It's currently PCM locked to the last tuners that played with it. Um, it's in the middle of some work, so we're just gonna try and start it the way it is now. I've temporarily put in a homemade reservoir and we're just gonna try and drive it into the workshop. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do use the ground, the ground method to try and flush the operating system with a new tune, new operating system and hopefully get rid of the PCM lock state. And, uh, I watched a couple of American YouTubers and I think one Aussie real redneck guy <laughs> explain it. Um, I'm, I'm trusting of it now that I've <laughs> got a couple of Americans that have given it the green tick and have confirmed that HP tuners doing it this way will work. And I'll pull down a stock tune file. So I'm gonna try and load that up in a second. First things first, get it started and uh we'll get it in because it's just all right they got fuel in it oh the computer's in my way oh my god puts a new meaning to i'm working on my car dude the interior is stripped out of this thing at the moment. yep that's sucking the water in don't waste any time my reservoir is running out of water slowly You should have seen it piss out. It actually took the whole load of this. So it's probably lucky we actually put some water on there. Have you already, so is this already? Slides off. Oh, so this is live. Yeah, so if I drop a big sheet of metal on that right now, that's the end of it. Um, now I believe it was one of these ones up here. Yeah, I believe it's one of those too. So good old HP tuners. Diagnostics cable in my laptop. Firstly, this is a credit to this person on YouTube, Pete S160 Plus. He had a working guide to assist allowing us to flush the PCM with another tune without knowing the unlock code. Now, I was actually gonna pay someone to do this, but since I have the HP tuners gear and apparently you just need a ground of wire. I have made up this little wire here. Um, this we're gonna put to somewhere in the, uh, the ground on the vehicle. And then this side, is apparently the side we've got to go tap one of these uh, <laughs> circuits, which apparently grounds it and resets it, allows us to write to it. First, I'm gonna try and read it to see how it goes. Cause apparently this is how you bypass um, the, the the response code to get a uh, all okay from the software. See how we go. Um, I'll put a closer picture up on the screen now, exactly pointing to which one he's got to press so you guys aren't confused in case you want to do this yourself. Uh, we also can do this for you if you ever need this done. Just anyway, here we go. Um, ground that somewhere, anywhere. And we'll go play around on the computer yeah, in a second. On this here. So yeah, make sure it's a good ground. Um, I would go to... Yeah. Yeah, probably undo that bolt. If you sand that down, there's a file in there. If you file it down a bit, then put the bolt down and push it down, that should do it. While you do that, I'll get the software ready. I told uh, BCM editor to kick up. And I'll show you what happens right now. The car is currently switched to on position. So we'll try and uh, read the vehicle, which you'll see will give us an error shortly. Yeah, it says requesting access. X36 exceed number of attempts. So if I go read again, it'll just fail. So I think while we're requesting access, he's got to ground it, from what I understand. 
I don't know if there's a certain point we have to do this, but we'll see what happens. Alright. So how long am I touching it for? I'll say on, off. So on means on, off means off, yes? Yes. Alright. I'm ready. On. Yep, we're reading it. Yep, leave it off. I'm pulling down the tune now as we speak. I can't believe that works. <laughs> that's unbelievable that that works. That's that's literally that's literally pulling down the tune now as we speak. Very simple yet very effective. All right. Nice. What car is this pig tune? Yep, yep, you see this, and now even though I've downloaded the tune file, see how it says uh, this file's tuner locked? This is why that still doesn't help us in terms of seeing what the tune is. Now we can flash a completely new tune to it using this method, so I'm gonna try that in a second. You have to again tap it when I say, the way I've got to do this, I've got to open. I'm going to write to vehicle. Yep, I have to license this. Two credits available. License this car. Okay. Are you sure this action cannot be undone? Yes. Now, I heard you have to write entire. It says brickable. Is the car voltage good? Hang on. We gotta make sure the car voltage is good. Um, how can we guarantee this? We're not, we're not gonna... Well, it's brickable. What part of, does that not concern you? It's giving me a warning about voltage. Nothing's gonna... All right, ready? Wait, all right then. Tap it. Yep, let go. All right. All right, it's riding. Cool. Very good. All right. Here you go, Zenon. I'm going to tell you guys something that we should be doing that we'd have, we're not doing, but you should have a 12 volt charger on your battery when you're doing this. Because if your car under volts in the middle of this, goodbye PCM. It doesn't seem to concern all that much, so it's not concerning me. It's his car. <laughs> well, it would be if, if it had been sitting out there for three months, but it literally was charged last weekend. Yeah, okay. Like, it literally came off a full full charge cycle last weekend. Fair enough. All no, right, well, it's riding away. And it hasn't been connected yet. So it should, it should be a full charge. All right, well, it says right complete. Now, in theory, it should be able to read from the car without needing any codes. Yep, reading from the car with no codes. It's been unlocked. So I'll do a proper full read, but it looks like it's good because before, guys, if you remember, it was not even reading error, which means too many attempts. Um, that's good. So you're all done. Unlocked and factory tuned. Yes.